Scan the barcode on the patient's wristband. Scan the barcode on the medication. Then administer the drugs only if the computer says it's safe to do so. That's the routine at Danville Medical Center, where statistics show barcode technology prevents an average of 102 potential medication errors each month. Seeing the statistics that we see on a daily basis ensures us that we have done the right thing for our patients. And the computer verifies and checks those barcodes to make sure that you're getting the medication you're supposed to be getting, that drug or intravenous medication, that you're not allergic to that medication, and that you're getting it at the right time. At the Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, medical errors have dropped 35% since the adoption of the computerized order entry system. It allows doctors to order new tests and meds via computer right from a patient's bedside, eliminating the need for handwritten prescriptions. The biggest benefit that we've seen in the hospital here is the generation of complete, unambiguous, legible orders by the physicians in a way that has never been done before. It even alerts doctors if they've ordered the wrong dose, checks for possible drug allergy reactions, and lets users look up complete medication information on the spot. Eleanor Kerr, a government relations expert for Siemens, says the results of these types of technologies are causing Washington to take notice. The president is making statements on national television about the importance of computerized health records. I've heard some of the leading healthcare economists on the political scene talking about how healthcare information technology will be one of the leading transforming issues. While reducing errors and improving patient care are the most important benefits, cost is also an issue. Medical mistakes often require additional costly care, including more administrative processes and hospital liability. So ultimately, these cost reductions can help health care become more affordable. Reporting in Washington, D.C., I'm Kate Brooks.